Hey y'all, my name is John Anthony and you're watching Very Good Reviews. We have a great show for you today. We're checking out the O-Drive 2, which is a part of Rowan's 300 series of guitar pedals. Before we go any further, I'd like to give a big thank you to Rowan for sponsoring this video. They sent me over two O-Drive 2s, one for my pedal board and one for yours. I'm gonna be giving away the second pedal on my Instagram page, at JAPlaysMusic. I'll include a link below to the giveaway post and will also be featuring it in my story throughout the week. I'm announcing the winner this Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time. Now without any further ado, let's hear how the O-Drive 2 sounds. Now that we've heard the Rowan O-Drive 2 in the context of a mix, let's talk a little bit about what exactly this pedal is and why it sounds the way it sounds. The O-Drive 2 is made by Rowan. It's housed in a rust-colored metal enclosure and features three knobs, level, tone, and gain. It also has a two-way selector switch for choosing between hot and warm voicings. After doing a little bit of research as well as the ear test on this pedal, I managed to figure out that it's a part of the Tube Screamer family of overdrives. That means it's a low to medium gain drive, and it features three distinct characteristics. It has a bass cut around 700 Hz, a mid boost, and finally a variable high cut. That means that as you turn the gain up, you're cutting out more and more high frequencies. Here's a quick graph from Electro Smash to highlight what I'm talking about. With the O-Drive 2, Rowan has managed to create a pedal that remains true to the original intent of the Tube Screamer circuit, while also creating something that's entirely their own with the inclusion of a two-way toggle switch. The toggle switch allows users to choose between two separate voicings. A warm voicing, which is pure TS9, with a very pronounced bass cut and mid boost, or a hot setting, which gives users a considerable volume boost, flattens the frequency response, and despite this still maintains a very Tube Screamer style overdrive. Now enough talking, I'm gonna show you how this pedal sounds. Hey y'all, so I'm gonna give you an example of my clean tone now, and my signal chain is a 90s MIJ Fender Telecaster into the Rowan O-Drive 2, which is currently turned off, into a BK Butler Tube Driver, which is acting as my preamp, and finally into a Flama FS07 Cab, which is just a basic impulse response loader. All right, so without any further ado, here is my clean tone. So as I mentioned earlier, the Rowan O-Drive 2 really strives as a low to medium gain overdrive pedal or as a colored boost, which is what I'm going to demonstrate the pedal as today. 
Personally, I like to use this pedal with the gain at about zero and just adjust the volume and tone to taste. And my favorite part about this pedal is that in a band context, it allows you to use the neck pickup as a viable soloing option. Guitar players will tell you that if you're in a band and you have a rhythm guitar player, a piano player, a pedal steel player, or a baritone guitar player, and you try to take a solo on the neck pickup, you're gonna get lost in the mix in two seconds. But with the O-Drive 2, it accentuates the frequencies that allow you to punch through the mix. So when you take a solo, you can actually be heard. So this is what it sounds like. And similar to how the O-Drive 2 adds presence to your neck pickup, it can also be used to fatten up a bridge pickup. And so how I like to do this is I keep the gain at zero, again adjust the volume to taste, and then just take the tone all the way down to zero. You'll get a nice, fat, present bridge pickup tone. So now we're checking out the hot voicing. And as you'll remember, on the hot voicing, we're gonna experience more volume and a flatter frequency response, which means that we're gonna hear a lot more bass than on the warm voicing. This is how the hot voicing sounds. Now similar to how we fattened up the bridge pickup with the warm voicing, we're going to do the same thing on the hot voicing. I'm going to reach over and turn down the tone knob to zero. Hey y'all, just wanted to offer some closing thoughts on the Rowan O-Drive 2 before signing off. This is my second pedal that I'm reviewing for Rowan, and again, I'm totally blown away by the quality that they can offer at such a competitive price point. This pedal looks good, it feels good, and most importantly, it sounds really good too. If you want a chance to win this pedal, again, I'm giving it away on my Instagram page, at JAPlaysMusic. The giveaway ends this Friday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. I don't have that many followers, so if you enter, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna win. So I definitely encourage you to go over there, follow me on Instagram, like the post, and tag three of your friends. Thank you all so much again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I'll do another one talking about stacking tube screamers, talking about stacking overdrives, distortion, and fuzzes into tube screamers, and all sorts of other crazy stuff. Thank you all so much again. My name is John Anthony, and you've been watching Very Good Reviews.